church together whether its partners have launched a campaign intended to imbibe in future generations an anti-corruption mindset aimed at reducing the kanka in the country speaking to join us at the launch of the commission's anti-corruption and transparency week commissioner joseph withal explained several platforms have been created to assist the youth in particular to uh, learn some cultural practices uh, to unlearn some cultural practices which facilitate corruption. Hano Dame has more in the following report. Ghana has been working hard to reduce corruption on all fronts. That fight sometimes yields results. Other times, persons involved in the fight against the Kanka are fought against. Anti-corruption groups, however, say they will not relent until the desired results are achieved. Linda Oforikwafo is executive director of the Ghana Integrity Initiative. I believe we will get to a stage where we become like the Rwandas, the Botswanas in Africa, where corruption is quite minimal. But if care is not taken, so for instance, if people, young people are coming up and they are persons of integrity and they see the wrongs happening, uh, and being done by the adults already in the public, private sector, civil society organization, whatever, they will speak up against it. So then if we don't do, if we don't build it, they are, not, they are not knowledgeable about the subject, they are not interested in the subject, the apathy setting, then we are not getting anywhere. But I believe with time, Ghana should be able to, it's quite worrying, to be frank. It's quite Commissioner Ostrach Joseph Wittal believes the fight against corruption has to be thought at an early age reason why the theme for the week's celebration is building a culture of integrity for generations you know there are certain cultural practices that in a way they are cultural are part of us right but if we continue to practice them they would impede our progress how do we look at gift giving from a cultural perspective and see how it can be improved in order that we don't use it as an escape route for corruption. How do we build integrity within ourselves without using cultural attitudes as a, a, an explanation, a justification? The campaign can only be well executed if everyone gets to know about it. That is why the National Commission for Civic Education is on board. Usually when we say corruption in Ghana, people are looking at big government officials and um, how and their ill-gotten wealth or perceived ill-gotten wealth. But I think it's important for us to begin to look at the little things that actually mold us as a society. So the things that start off with children, little lies, watching your parents do certain things that we know are wrong but over the years because you've seen it over and over again you become desensitized to it so as you grow you take on new vices and by the time you become a fully fledged adult you may have you know um, built or molded a character that actually finds nothing wrong with corruption. For Joy News, I am Hannah Odami.